Thanks for tuning in. I'm Trushi. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch. I am going to be sharing with you how I co-wash my natural hair with natural products. I'll be using a fresh aloe vera plant and 100% coconut oil. So I hope you enjoy, but first, before we get to indulge, please take the time out to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are on social media, I am too. Follow me and like my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this process started. I am not a professional. Let me say that first. Because if I was, I probably would have sectioned my hair off first to make it a little bit easier. <laughs> but it's all good. I am taking the contents of the aloe vera plant it can get like lumpy and i'm putting that on my hair but check me out in my waist trimmer guys that is true chic waist trimmer so you gotta make sure you like and follow and subscribe all my social media sites so you can stay up to date when that website is going to be up and popping but anyway i sped it up a little bit there's my products that I use there so you know what I'm using and I pretty much got all of the aloe vera plant saturated now I'm adding the coconut oil and by the way that big aloe vera plant I can let you know for sure you're not going to use the whole thing well you can look at the texture length and thickness of my hair and see that so if you're up in the category with my length of hair it's, it's like a cotton ball is like you know you won't use a whole aloe vera plant someone with hair down their back they might will but I'm just basically combing out the product now guys not combing it out but taking it all the way through making sure it's saturated really good because once I do this I'm actually gonna sit under the dryer and I'm only gonna sit in for like 10 minutes so it's almost like a deep condition but it's basically just your pre-wash so I'm treating my hair because it's just dry and brittle um, I had a sew-in in so yeah with a lace frontal and that's why my edges looks thin and worn out and I won't say it was from the installation part I would say it was mostly me when I would try to reapply it I wasn't doing it right so yeah some of those edges kind of look a little lost yeah but that's okay that's why we're giving this head some tender loving care so we can get her back because I had a surgery about I think a year or two ago about two years ago actually and I had this huge cyst guys in the middle of my head that I had to get surgically removed I was looking for pictures but I couldn't find any, but they probably would have been gruesome anyway. But yeah, my hair just never grew back from that properly, like the density, like the thickness that I had. So I want to get it back. I probably never let that area breathe because I always keep it weaved up. But I'm going to start paying her some more attention. This is my second time. This is my second time. I did it at home when I took the weave out. That was like last week, week before that. I don't know how that ponytail on my head is. Oh, I don't want that long, though. Mm -hmm. I kind of just want to be free. I don't want to put nothing on my head. I don't want to be hot. Not. So, but I got to look presentable. What you think? Mm -hmm. well, so what am I doing today? Just blowing it out. That's it. Clip my ends, put some heat to it. Did you want to use my arm straightener from my left or my right? I just want to see what it's going to do. If not, if for anything, it's, you know, I just 
put it up in a ponytail, but I just want to see where we are. I had an appointment to get my hair braided with my husband next week. I think it was, so I was trying not to do too much, spend too much money in hair and all that. Just felt like it's asinine to do that. Really trying to save my money. I want to buy me a house. Conditioner. Yeah, shampoo. Oh, you shampoo in it again? Do it feel softer? Aloe. That's what that aloe is for conditioner, so you don't really need a conditioner. I'll run it through there, but you don't need one. Right, I don't need the deep conditioner, exactly. How it feel? Do it feel softer? Right, right. Does it feel softer? Mm -hmm. Can you look at what you're doing in my hair? Because you're getting it all in my eyes. Ain't nothing hitting your eyes, girl. It did. No, you got one or two drops up there. Trust me. Because you're looking all up there being nosy. Mm -hmm. That's what I can do. Say it again? Uh -uh. Condition. Just a little condition. Oh, that smells so good. Like LeBron. a cotton ball. It's about LeBron. It would make What's up with that? Look, it would make it, it would not even make any sense for me. Is it because it's thing? That unpopular decision after he left and came yeah, to that, that he actually could be but lost to. And now he plays with them. This ends up being more like the Miami Heat, the Boston Celtics, where you're creating something new. Yeah, and so the stick my hair like, wash. These guys have already broken down that wall. Yeah. Arash, in my mind, they've already both been through the shrapnel of making that unpopular decision. This is the beginning so of the year. Here in Los Angeles. I love it. it. Yes. Okay. Well, guys, that's pretty much how I prep my natural hair when I'm getting it washed and the ends clipped and getting it straightened out. This hairstyle is probably gonna only last me for 24 hours and then I'll put it up in the ponytail but this is pretty much what I do you gotta let your hair breathe you have to treat it and as you can see it's really thinned out so I'm definitely going to be taking the steps to continue to get it right hope you enjoyed please comment your regimen down below peace out